So, but the, the first question I'd love to ask you is what is it you're going to uh, show uh, coaches how to do in your session in the membership program that's coming up? Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to share with coaches this notion that when our clients are asking for more purpose, more meaning in their life, that the way to that answer, to that embodiment of purpose is actually through soul. That's beautiful. And um, what, this is a big question, but what, um, what is it that becomes available to um, somebody when they go through soul? There's a difference between um, purpose for egos and purpose from soul. Purpose for egos, we want to add some layer of meaning or purpose to our lives. And there's nothing wrong with that. But true purpose exists, you know, deep inside. And it takes a burrowing down into our depths to discover what is there that wants to flourish and occupy us. So it's a change of occupancy from ego-based living to soul-based living. That's beautiful. And what, what's the key to helping a client or somebody do that borrowing deep into themselves? Yeah. Imagine there's many keys, but yeah. 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 Um, true purpose work is based in uh, transformation. Transformation is expensive because what is expended is version 1.0 of yourself. So there is a kind of a dissolution or dying to identity 1.0. You're not adding soul level purpose like a cherry atop uh, your already existing Sunday of your life. Rather, you're letting the Sunday melt and then recompose itself in light of the architecture of soul. Lovely, lovely. So uh, you know, this whole membership thing, it's about, uh, I'm going to call you a master facilitator. Now, whether you're comfortable with that <laughs> title or not, <laughs> you've got I'll it. I'll pretend moment. you're not saying it. So anyway, yeah. So, um, so yeah, you know, <clears throat> like you're teaching other people and I, I'm just curious what role teachers have played in your growth as a facilitator, as a, as a, you know, guide, soul guide. Mm. Teachers are a sacred mirror for us. They're a golden shadow. We see something in a teacher. It could be the Buddha or Jesus or someone living. And we project on them some of our very own gold, our own treasure. And taking back that projection is the process of transformation and realizing, yeah, the Dalai Lama, he's got it. But I do as well. And so a good teacher is a mirrors to you, helps you to see that golden thread that you see in them as emanating from your very own self. Beautiful. So then I've got one last question, which is like, what is it in your heart of hearts or your soul, I can say soul actually to you, that yeah. <laughs> moves you to do this work that you do? Mm. one thing I prize almost beyond all others is wholeness. I'm interested in the whole of what I am, the whole of what you are, and the whole of what the people I work with. So along the way, I became a psychotherapist and a meditation teacher and a purpose guide because there's no one world of exploration that explains, that makes sense of what our human life is. So I want to facilitate, I want to midwife the wholeness of the people I work with to help them to wake up to the unbounded, to grow up into emotional adulthood and to show up with their soul level purpose as a gift of life, as a gift of service to the evolution of life on earth.